a little focused there. All right. I was not focused. Now we're focused. All right. Hey, well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be joining us from. It is 9 a.m. on the West Coast if you are here live, 12 o'clock on the East Coast. It is 5 p.m. in the UK, 6 p.m. in Spain and France, and it's whatever time if you're on the replay. But this is the one place you want to be every single week. We got my man, Daryl Roberts. I call him MJ, the best to ever do it, bringing it every single week teaching you the secrets of success, um, how to go out and get one of them, you know, $9,000 watches he's wearing right now. Um, and so anyway, uh, every week we uh, have all kinds of incredible info for you. Uh, this week is uh, no different. Um, so we are here and Mr. Dale Roberts, welcome. Unbelievable. Yeah, this is what you're talking about, right? <laughs> that's right. That's right. Here we go, right? Bling, how cool is bling. this? That's, that's 18 this grand right there. <laughs> shot right there. Sure. Hey, well, yeah, Tom, let's let everybody have to take a screenshot. If you guys want, here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right. Boom. All right. All right. <laughs> so, guys, we've always wanted to get one of those. When I saw Todd getting one, I said, dude, we got to get one as well. And then we put a game plan together, start talking. Again, Todd and I talk all the time. Lots of the leaders, we talk all the time. And we just flat out went after it because a lot of you and your work effort, and you're going to hear from some of those people here tonight. Um, you know, we were able to achieve that. So it's just exciting time. That's the reason why we give so much of our time and the conference calls, all the stuff that we actually do is because our job is, and, you know, Zig Ziglar said this, Todd, you know, 30 years ago, that if you help enough people get what they want, you can get whatever it is that you want and so much more. And I'm, I'm just really excited to be here with you the best to have ever done it. <laughs> and as well, that actually brings up a great subject about the difference between being a sponsor and a recruiter, right? A recruiter is somebody that just recruits, put somebody in, you never hear from them again. When you call them, they don't take your phone calls. And Daryl, I can't even begin to tell you how many people uh, in the company, um, and I won't mention names because, you know, uh, but they're like, you know, oh, Todd, uh, I, I love you so much. You always pick up my phone call, no matter what. You're the only one. And so I hear that on a regular basis. I know Daryl Marie hear that on a regular basis. I know that Coach D and, and a lot of you guys are, I mean, true sponsors, right? You are there for your people. You take the phone calls. You call people back. You text people back. You are there in the good times, the bad times, for the cheers, the uh, the sadness, all the things in between. And that is the big difference between just being a recruiter and being a sponsor. But it comes down to this is an industry where you get to win because you help other people win. And in fact, the only way to win is when you help other people win. And that's what separates our industry from every other thing on the planet. That is not the way it works at traditional corporations, no. right? If you're in some traditional company, your boss, right? Let's say that Daryl's my boss. He's not going to teach me everything he knows. Why? Because, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm trying to keep this Todd guy at a distance. I don't want him taking my job, right? I mean, I'm trying to keep my job security. I got a family and all those other kind of things. I'm trying to keep Todd, you know, down here. You stay where you are so I can stay where I'm at, right? So there's always going to be some kind of a, a competition there. That's not the case in this industry. In this industry, we want to teach you everything we know because we would celebrate you, you know, becoming a, a, a bigger organization than what we've built so far, right? We would celebrate you becoming a higher rank. Why? Because we get a piece of that action too. So your success is our success. And the only way to succeed in this industry is when you help somebody else succeed. And it's almost amazing that anybody would ever have anything negative to say about this industry in any way, shape or form, when you truly understood that's an industry where you only win when you help somebody else win. I mean, what's so bad about that? I mean, is it better at the other place where I win because I helped everybody else lose? <laughs> I mean, that's the more common way that it's done. Well, Todd, that's the exact reason people don't understand that that uh, concept you just explained there. I mean, you talked about it yesterday. We did the training call with Frank and and Emilio and, and, and those folks over there. You talked about it. Sometimes they'll put things in place. You talked about yesterday, it was uh, Hawaii, one of our favorite destinations out there and how people, um, you know, they're having a big deal with the um, Airbnb. Uh, Airbnb scenario. They want to get rid of them. Now, who is that helping? Is it helping, you know, you, the individual, me as the homeowner over there trying to make some extra money? Or is it helping the hotel industries that are out there that they have a vested interest in working with the government because they sure. give the local government money? So when they say, we don't like these guys, whose best interest is that? Todd, was I listening on the call yesterday? Or what? <laughs> he verbatim. 
<laughs> and, and, I'm, and I'm glad you said that because I'm, I'm, for everyone out there, again, what Daryl's describing in the state of Hawaii, this is a place as you can imagine. If you own a home in Hawaii, I mean, who doesn't want to go to Hawaii? You can put your home on Airbnb and you know, and make a lot of money. In fact, I got a good friend, um, Seth Kawoha. Um, he went to Hawaii. He, he inherited his father's home and his father passed away. And they actually built a whole separate wing where they could do Airbnb. And then the hotels who donate the money to get politicians elected wanted the laws changed where you have to rent for 90 days. It was 30. Now they're expanding it to 90 days, Daryl. That you know, if you're not renting a house for 90 days, you can't do it. If they're renting for 90 days or longer, then you can do it. But if it's a short term, you can't do it. They're trying to get rid of the Airbnb. Why? Because that competes with the hotel industry. So is this good for consumers? No. Is it good for the people there on the ground in Hawaii? No, but it's good for the corporate interests that are, you know, donating the money to get the politicians elected to pass the laws. But the funny thing is that for all of you out there, the same kind of thing goes on with network marketing. I mean, why do you think people don't like this industry? Is it in the company's best interest that you become an independent person where you can tell a few who tell a few and you're creating residual income where you don't need your job anymore? Or do you think they would rather keep you there nine to five? You know what I mean? You're under their thumb. They don't you dare screw up or you lose your whole pension and your job and you're just a good little soldier. And yes, sir, whatever you want me to do, they're making a fortune off your labor, right? And of course, obviously, who is it that promotes this as a bad idea, right? You might, oh, who, the news media, right? Well, who do you think buys all the ad space for the news media outlet that you're listening to? The same companies that are hiring you, right? So again, it's like, you know, follow the money, right? Who has got your best interest in, in mind? And this is, again, part of that disconnect that's out there in the marketplace where people, you know, like, oh, hold, don't bring that networking stuff near me. What, what, something where you can tell people how to save money, make money? Oh, wouldn't want to do that, right? I mean, so it's kind of interesting how many people root against their own best interest only because that's what they've heard. But who did you hear it from? Exactly. The very people that don't want you to do it because they're making money over here. <laughs> Well, Todd, most people, again, and we live in a world today where, again, depends on what news source you listen to, depends on what your parents were, were they rich growing up or, or were they struggling growing up? You, you learn those tendencies, and, and that's why we're such an advocate for this industry, because you can take anybody, a regular person that grew up not taking any vacations, not having a lot of money with the family, you know, growing up, we didn't do a lot of the things that we're obviously able to do right now. And it's just those philosophies that get ingrained in your mind. And I just thank God that I figured it out. And I think it's, for me, it's, uh, the self-improvement started back in Sunday school, started back in, in, in church when I started hearing, you know, having the faith of a mustard seed, you know, uh, ask and it'll be open, knock and, and, and seek and you will find, et cetera. That's when I actually first started it without even knowing I was starting it. But I have 10 brothers and sisters, nine brothers and sisters. There's six guys and there's four girls. And um, I just um, never wondered why I'm the one that decided to be an entrepreneur, to buck the system, to go out and do something totally different than all of my uh, brothers and sisters have ever done. And, and I just thank God for that attitude, for that energy to go through. Because the guy, again, you see the glory today, but you don't know the story. The things that we've had to go through to get you know, to success over the 30 plus years in this industry. And I, I don't know if it was because I played basketball and in high school and in college, if, if that um, intensity caused me to you know, create that same type of intensity in building a business. I think it really does work with a lot of athletes. You know, if you're intense and you're excited, you bring that to businesses. And that's why some corporate companies love having athletes as part of the workforce, because again, of their competitiveness, because of the things they've learned. So I don't, I don't know, I can't put a finger on any of it, but all I know, Todd, I'm glad I'm here. And uh, every day we're on phone calls, we're on Zoom, we're helping people. We've been doing this for years, uh, helping people. The Zoom made it a little easier because we can talk to more people, but that's the exciting part. And the good thing about it, Todd, if people knew me, back in the day when I was 24, when I first got started, guys, you'd wonder, how did he make it? And, and I just gave you some of the things of how I made it. Todd, I'm going to show a quick video here whenever we're ready for that. And then I'm going to have about six, seven minutes of some of the things that uh, Marie and I put together because of watching this video 
two weeks ago, it actually caused us to put the information, about six, seven, eight minutes worth of information together. But how did we get to this point? Guys, if you would have seen me, you would know that I've gone through some transition. You'd have known that I've gone through some self-improvement. And it's nothing special about me other than the fact that I'm willing to put in the work to get to the results, to get to the other side. I understand that if I put in the work today, I may not see results. I may have bad results. I may fail, but I learned that if I keep sowing, I'm eventually going to be reaping. And that's one thing that stick to itiveness, that perseverance that I have that a lot of people don't. But if everybody just applied those simple principles, you can basically have anything you want in life. Yeah, I wanna, I'm going to expand upon that. I'm going to drop some slides or two. I think you're going to enjoy um, about as far as going through, you know, the the stuff we've had to go through, right? You know, the you see the glory, you don't know the story. But talking about entrepreneurship in general, uh, number one, in, in the next two years are going to be some of the greatest two years in the history of the entire network marketing industry, guys. Uh, there is a boom that's that's happening. It's been brewing. It's been brewing. This industry in general is going to be amazing. In particular, your participation in our company is going to be out of this world. In fact, I was going through a training with uh, uh, Eric Worry just a couple of days ago, uh, and he was going through some of the challenges and things that people bring up in the industry. It's kind of funny. I'm like, no, no, no. I mean, it's like, yeah, I understand those might be some challenges for other companies, right? But those are not challenges for our company, right? Those are not things that we're experiencing because we have this product where we're not more expensive. We're less expensive, right? We have this product that, I mean, we doubled in size in the middle of a pandemic. And so we were going through some stuff, but one thing that did come out was the fact that, you know, that today it has never, ever been easier to build a global business than at any time in the history of the world. And sometimes people don't know that, right? It's, it's easy to get here and, huh, I have to pay an auto ship. Well, again, I'm going to take you guys to some slides and you'll, you'll laugh here in a moment. Like when you understand when I first met Daryl and Maria and we first started our careers, at least for me, you know, back in, you know, 1993, I filled my application out in triplicate. Yeah. I had to mail the application to the home office. I had to wait for the home office to mail me a distributor kit. Of course, back then you didn't have drop ship in Amazon, right? So people had to buy extra products. So my sponsor says to me, Todd, you got to get some inventory. You need to buy $4,000 worth of the product. And so I did. I had to write a check for $4,000 of the product. And then I had to go out and find 10 other people frontline who would do the same thing. And then obviously duplicate, you know, in that way. Um, of course, now if you want to go show the opportunity, right, you got to buy the VHS tapes. Now those VHS tapes, they would cost you to five to $10, right? Well, what do you, what do you do with one? It's Todd, you, you need a box of these things, right? You need to buy probably 50 VHS tapes, right? At, you know, five bucks a piece, you know? So there's another 250 to 500 bucks. Well, you need some audio cassettes. You need the comp plan brochure, the company brochure. You need the product brochure. You need the big flip chart if you can start doing meetings, right? Oh, don't forget, we have a weekly meeting. You should be there at the holiday end. Please wear a suit. So now I got to go buy suits and get dry cleaning done. I got to get mm -hmm. in my car, drive down to the holiday end, right? Because I want to show the business I couldn't hop on a Zoom four times a day. But right now, you guys have the challenge happening. And you can hop on a Zoom four times a day. And, and you can invite unlimited prospects. And what does it cost you? Not one single penny. For mm -hmm. us, we had to like, you know, hey, Daryl, I'll come pick you up and you know, get you in my car. I'm waiting out in front of the hotel. Man, where's Daryl at? Where's Daryl at, right? And if you don't show, well, I'm going to sit in the meeting for the next hour with no guest, right? And then afterwards, we're going to go out and have coffee and, and dinner. So now I'm spending money in a restaurant. Then I'm going to drive home. But don't forget the Saturday training. You didn't hop on the Zoom like you're doing right now. You had no. to drive to the Saturday training. That was 10 to $20 at the door for each person to be there at the Saturday training. There was no recording. There was no replay. If you went to the bathroom and you missed the main point, I'm sorry, you missed the main point. It wasn't like you're here where you can just on Facebook and hey, go back and say that one more time or hit the replay or, man, guys, sorry, I was busy in my, my kid's soccer game. But, hey, you can go watch the replay anytime you want. It wasn't like that, right? <clears throat> you had to, by the way, also, um, you know, sp spend money on long distance. Every time you called somebody, it was 28 cents a minute for a long distance phone call. I ran phone bills that were two, $3,000 a month. If I wanted to prospect Daryl Maria because they live in Las Vegas, Nevada, 
I had to buy the videotape, buy the audio tape, get all the brochures, go down to Airborne Express, put it in a package, right? I got all these materials that I paid for. Now I got to pay the Airborne Express people $10 to $15 just to be able to package overnight. And I call, hey, Daryl, did you watch the package? No, nah, I haven't seen that yet, but I'll get back to you, right? I mean, it's like this, I mean, again, the same kind of stuff goes on, but I had to actually airborne the package to him, right? Guys, never <laughs> in the history of the world has it been easier to build a business around the globe and it costs you nothing. You all already pay a cell phone bill. You can make as many phone calls as you want on this cell phone. You can send as many texts as you want on the cell phone. It does not cost you one extra dime. You already pay for internet at your house. It does not cost you one <laughs> extra dime to be here on this training call today or to be on the four challenge Zooms that we're going to have later today. By the way, the first one this morning, if you missed it at 8 a.m. my time, 11 o'clock East Coast time, we have Paul and Donna Scales. They absolutely knocked it out of the park. By the way, they flew home from California last night. They arrived at home like at <clears throat> two or three in the morning. Right. I, I know that because she she texted me when she got home. She said she texted me this morning at 6 30 my time. Hey, I'm trying to get on the Zoom, get the code, get this. I mean, she was getting set up. I mean, they had no sleep. They caught a nap. They caught a nap, but they were on there this morning, fired up, excited, doing the presentation, right? And you see the little the, the applause from the producer right there, doing the presentation. And people are like, man, man, why is their business growing and mine's not? Man, look at Paul and Donna, the three-star, almost four-star. Why are they succeeding? I'm not. Another huge shout out to Dr. Renee Smith, by the way. Dr. Renee has been on every single challenge call I have been on. Every time I'm on there, she's on there. She's been the host. She's organized people. She's helped people get set up. She's done countless presentations. I got the most amazing text from her a moment ago, Daryl. I invited her on. She's getting ready for a trip to Hawaii, so she couldn't come on. But she wrote... To me a second ago, I got this at 8.52 a.m., so what, 20 minutes ago. We're grateful for this challenge. We've had 23 signups since the challenge has started. Thank you to every speaker, co-host, and partner, hashtag Team Trevorian. Guys, this challenge has been life-changing for some groups. It's not just the 23. It's the leadership that's coming out of the groups. It's the countless people that have done presentations just this past week that have never done presentations. I mentioned, obviously, Paul and Donna Skills a moment ago. Alicia Davis, multiple times this past week. Kwani and Sandy, Lisa <laughs> Davis, Kayla Young. Kayla, I didn't even text you. I was on your presentation, and I meant to text you. Unbelievable. Dr. Phyllis just got back from Egypt. She called me up, Todd. How do I get on there? I want to start doing presentations. Tanya Evans, Marcy Thomas, Doc and LeRae. I mean, on and on. You know, Pastor Mel. I mean, I mean, a lot of you guys are on there regularly. Dr. Renee. Obviously, Daryl and Marie and Danny, but I mean, you know, we, you know, and Pastor Deborah uh, Taylor, you know, Ambassador Deborah Taylor, but some of those you see all the time. It's all of these brand new leaders, Tanya Evans, right? Being on there and, you know, and growing their business, growing their leadership, growing their own identity, their own belief level of what is possible to happen in this business. The big time effect of this challenge will not even be realized for another six months because today it was about planting all those little seeds. It was about growing that leadership. And over the next six months, as that crop begins to germinate and, and harvest and those people begin to people and we do other challenges and you go into the next challenge with a few more committed people, yeah. that's where you're going to see the huge, huge payoff. And right now we get to butt two major growth periods of time in our industry with one major event. Right now we're in the last quarter of this year. And this is prime time. Kids are back in school. People are in their routines. This is prime time. It is harvest time right this very moment in wow. our company, in wow. our industry, right this moment. We got another 12 days of the challenge. You should be on every single challenge call. But Todd, for a day, I'm tired. I know you're tired. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Keep going, right? 12 more days. Suck it up, buttercup, right? I thought you were <laughs> to make a, a couple hundred thousand a year, right? The next four challenges, you're not even doing the presentation. All you got to do is get on there. Okay, so again, suck it up 12 more days. But as you are going to take this all the way through the end of the quarter, January 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, or 3rd, 4th, and 5th, we're going to be in Miami. That's going to be, we're going to have an even bigger yacht this time. It's going to be an amazing training, and it's going to kick off the next growth wave, which is the spring. You're going to have, get to connect these two major growth seasons with the Miami event. And if you're somebody that you'll run hard all the way to Miami, you're going to walk into Miami with a whole group of brand new people. You're going to come out of Miami 
And you're going to be the next person like, oh my gosh, that one season of growth, the fall connected by Miami into the spring has absolutely changed my life. I've now become a two-star, three-star, four-star ambassador. My team is growing. I'm duplicating. My team is spreading around the world. This is the most unbelievable thing simply because you were a person who decided to follow through, to follow through, right? Commitment is doing the thing you said you would do long after the feeling you had when you said you'd do it has passed. Yeah. It's resolved. This is my mountain. I will climb it. You will soon see me at the top or dead on the side, but I ain't coming back. <laughs> be one of those types of people. Be that person, man. I am there to the end. I will be on the last call on the last day to celebrate. What an amazing challenge. I was here all the way through the whole thing. Now, some of you, I know you might work during the day. That's okay. But you're on the ones you can be on, right? You have to hold yourself accountable. If you're at work, I get it. But if you're not, and you can be on the call, then be on the call. Be there, right? And do what Maria taught you. Clap, nod, smile, laugh, thumbs up. Or if you're falling asleep, like I'm sure, you know, Paul and Don <laughs> might be doing this moment, but then shut your camera off so we don't see you falling asleep, right? And so again, just participate. Just be someone who is a part of the reason, part of the growth. And it's going to not, it, uh, trust me, it is going to show up for you because Daryl and I have lived that. I was once just a person in the audience. I showed up to every Saturday training call or every Saturday training meeting. I showed up to every presentation that was done on a Tuesday or Thursday night. I was there. I was there. I was there. I was there. I listened to the audios over and over and over and over all of the mentors, the trainers, the speakers. I memorized it. I knew their jokes. I knew their inflection point. I just listened to it. I inoculated myself with it, right? All you have to do is do the exact same thing. It's not hard to do. It's something anybody can do. But if you do it, your business is going to explode. It's going to change your life. Now, one final thing, Daryl, I'm going to send it over to you. Is I want to thank all of you. Um, and I'm still writing people back. I was doing that again this morning. I was traveling on my birthday. So my birthday was Thursday. And we were traveling home. So we were on an airplane. You know, we had a connection flight. We were gone pretty much all day. And so a lot of you had sent me a birthday note. I'm still in the process of <laughs> thanking you, right? Thank you so much for the birthday note. Um, I got a ton of them done early this morning. I'll do a ton more today. I apologize. I didn't get back to you sooner, but thank you so much for all the birthday wishes. I appreciate that. Um, and obviously for me, oh, I see that Mr. or Miss Maria, for me, it was uh, 29 years ago that my uh, mother passed. Um, she actually died on my birthday. Um, she was 49 years old. She had gotten pancreatic cancer. So pancreatic cancer is what killed Steve Jobs. Now that's what killed Patrick Swayze. That's what killed Ruth Gaynor Ginsburg. I mean, not many people survive uh, patri or patri or pancreatic cancer. And she was just one of those people she happened to contract it. In fact, I'm now 53. I'm now four years older than my mother ever got. And so I get that sober reminder every you know birthday. Of course, you know, for me, I never forget, you know, I always tell people I consider it a blessing. I got to see my mom that morning and before she died, and we had a great moment together. And because it was on my birthday, Every birthday, I think of her. Every birthday, I remember her. Every birthday, I never like, when did mom die again? I mean, I never, I never have to wonder that, right? I never, you know, forget to celebrate her because every birthday, there's that reminder. But it's also the reminder of what helps shape a big part of my life. And that's the fact that I saw my mom and dad work very hard. My dad was a policeman. My mom drove the big city bus. My dad worked all these extra security jobs. And my mom ran the Champagne Police Benevolent Association. So she ran the whole kind of telemarketing group that was like raising money for the policeman's fund, if you will. And so they both worked really, really hard. And of course, you know, you know, someday I'll do this and, you know, someday I'll do that. Uh, but, you know, tomorrow's not promised to anybody. You know, you got to get off the island of someday aisle uh, because for some people, you're only going to get to age 49. Uh, for David Hart's brother, um, he got melanoma cancer. Uh, Gene was an amazing guy, amazing father. Um, had a business. It started on his ear, of all places. Melanoma cancer on his ear. And it spread everywhere. And he was 48. Uh, we did his funeral a few years ago. Um, and we see this kind of story repeated all the time. And guys, life is short. I cannot believe I'm 53. I cannot believe I've been in this industry 29 years now. It's been like a like that. And life is short. And a big part of what we're trying to do as a company and what you're going to be doing for other people is helping people maximize that life, helping people get more out of the life that you do have so that you can go to the places you want to go with the people that you care about so that you can make the extra money so that you're you know, able to do the things that matter to you. 
And with that, Mr. Daryl Roberts, I know you got some great stuff and some video. I want to send yeah. it over to you. Well, unbelievable. Just to, just to recap of one of the things you just said there. Sometimes, guys, if you can't muster up enough energy to do it for yourself, do it for somebody else. There's people out there that um, will never know about our company if you don't take it to them. So sometimes it's tough for you to, hey, I want to do this for myself. Some of you are gifted to the fact that you want to help other people out. So again, there's that person right now waiting for that phone call, or and it may not be that person. It might be that person that knows the one that knows someone. But if you don't reach out, if you don't take the opportunity to learn these simple, simple, basic rudimentary skill sets, again, you're going to stop other people from having uh, their success. So again, do it for yourself, do it for your family, but do it for others as well. A lot of people are work are, are looking for that. Happy birthday, Todd. No, I just wanted to just say. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, happy birthday, et cetera. You're getting a whole bunch of those in there. Right, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's kind of apropos to um, what we, um, what you just talked about there, this video, uh, just, um, we saw it a couple of weeks ago and uh, we shared it with a few different people and everybody that sees it is truly blown away. And because of this, Marie and I put together a basic uh, training. It's only, only going to be about, the video is only about a minute and a half or less than that. And the, the little quick training we're going to do is going to be probably five to eight minutes, nothing more than that. But this is what Todd was just talking about here, guys. Um, someday I'll check this out. One of my best friends died a couple of days ago and he kept working at a job he hated because he wanted his pension to be a little bit higher when he retired. He planned to go to Italy with his wife. He always wanted to go to Italy and so did his wife. Now his wife is grieving the death of her husband. What in the hell is wrong with people who keep working as if they're going to get some big reward and then it, you're too late to go away because you're sick. You can't walk. Your vision is no good. Just don't work for money if you don't like your job. Life is too short. Please listen to me before it's too late. What a sad thing to do to work and work and work and at the end have nothing. Try to think about this, please, and have a good evening. Wow, this, guys, that really changed me when I saw that. We talk about that all the time. I even have experiences with other people. And at the age that we are right now, I, I look on Facebook, we're recruiting for individuals and, and, and they've passed on. And, and a lot of these guys are in their 40s or in their uh, 50s as well. And they're not here anymore. So, you know, after reviewing that video multiple times, I've even showed it on our presentation uh, it makes a big difference. And this is the messaging. Um, it's so powerful. We're putting it as, uh, on our presentation. But bottom line is, ladies and gentlemen, it makes all the difference in the world by you uh, taking uh, advantage of what we're talking about. Every single day, ladies and gentlemen, you're faced with a simple yet profound choice. You either keep moving forward, you grow, or you you know, you stick in the same old routine and you stay stagnant and you stay broke. No question about it. You know, it's literally as straightforward as that. You can choose to stay in your comfort zone of dreams or you can muster up the courage to chase after them. That's what Todd and I are talking about every week here. Life is about embracing change and seizing opportunity. Don't let fear hold you back. It's what does that for so many people out there. Take the step, make the choice, and watch your life transform. It's important. The video summed it all. Your journey is defined by the decisions that you make. By choosing to evolve, you open doors to new experiences, learning, and endless possibilities. Every small effort you put into your dream gets you actually closer to your dream. So don't settle for the same old thing. You got to break the habit. Embrace the chance to evolve, to change, and to create the lifestyle that fully fulfills you. The power lies in your hands. The choice literally is yours. Now, we're going to give you some advice that will keep you going and actually help you become an ambassador over the next two to five years. This has created a lot of success for Marie and I over the last three decades. We learned and applied this every to every aspect of our life. And uh, it is the reason that we've had a lot of success right here with our company, this company, et cetera. And every successful business person, including Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, Oprah uh, Winfrey, three of the richest people on the earth, they actually agree with us on this point. Now, do any of you want to know the advice that we're talking about? 
How many of you want to know the advice that I'm going to share with you here over the next few minutes? Just type yes in the chat if you want to understand or know the advice I'm talking about that's helped successful people become successful, including us. Okay, some of you guys are putting it in there. Okay, cool. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. If you make a few calls today, you may not have any result. You wake up tomorrow and you do it again. You make a few more phone calls. At the end of the day, you may not have any results. Now, no one enrolled, you've had no success to show. It's obvious to you that Trevorium does not work. So most people right then and there, just after a month or two, even less for some cases, they enter what we call the witness protection program or the valley of disappointment. We say that all the time now, and then they stop trying. You know, they live a life of regret, disappointment, and mediocrity. This is what happens more times than not to most people. But if you stick with it consistently, you plug into the training consistently, uh, attend the Monday corporate calls consistently, read 10 pages of a good book consistently, listen to 15 minutes of a positive audio consistently, you plug in consistently, you work on your mindset consistently, you connect with your successful mentors consistently, you believe in yourself consistently, you take action consistently, you share the opportunity consistently, you build for events consistently, you self-improve consistently, Ladies and gentlemen, you will succeed. You will have success. Realize your success is equal to the right amount of time plus the right activities. You have to understand that. Your success is equal to the right. I got to change the slide here. Okay, sorry. Your, your success is equal to the right amount of time plus the right activity. So ladies and gentlemen, master sharing our travel service, master sharing our opportunity, master building for the events and always master of self improving. And when you do all of this, no question about it, you can have it all with our amazing company, uh, Trevorium. You will make several mistakes and you'll fall, fail often, no question about it. We all do this, but it's part of the success process. And as soon as you change your um, relationship with failure, you're going to understand it. But when you let space repetition work its magic, it's the mother of invention. You got to understand that the space repetition, the mother of invention. We guarantee your life will change for the better. Your trajectory will change immediately and put you on a course for a much brighter future. Now, I remember when our son Aaron first started playing baseball. He was a lot like a lot of you guys out there right now. You were excited, right? He was excited, had no skills, lacked confidence, had no clue of what to do. He was awful in the beginning, just like a lot of you. He struggled all the time and ended up in the valley of disappointment, and he was ready to quit a couple of times in the, in the early days, but he didn't. He kept working and working and working and working, and he got better through consistency. We put a plan together. We went to work. He got focused. We had good coaches. We found mentors. We hired coaches to actually help out. Very few people saw the work that we put in after school, the late nights that we had, the early mornings before school. They didn't see the thousands of hours that were actually put in, doing the same thing over and over again, hitting the ball, catching the ball, throwing the ball over and over again. We were doing things every day that no one actually saw, investing time, investing energy, investing money into a vision of becoming successful with no guarantee that it was ever going to work and with no applause whatsoever. Now, if you put in the effort consistently, here's the key, guys. If you put in that effort on a consistent basis, one day you're going to look back and you're going to look back and say, man, I, I've made it. I know I've made it. You didn't get lucky. You're going to know that you didn't get lucky. You sacrificed for it. You worked your butt off. You changed your habits and you never quit. This is the formula for greatness and success. Aaron became the Gatorade Player of the Year for the state of Nevada, one of the best players in the country, made all the All-American uh, baseball teams, was Las Vegas Male Athlete of the Year, and was drafted by the, the Boston Red Sox. You know, again, pretty amazing, no question about it. Now, I could go through the exact same story about Maria and I. We did the exact same thing, used the exact same formula. Our success is not an accident. It is on purpose, and you got to understand that. 
We're not exactly sure what day your success will happen, but we know without a doubt, you're going to enroll your first partner. You're going to enroll a second partner. You will eventually enroll your third partner and eventually you're going to enroll a lot more when you adapt the same philosophy and the same mindset. So making a bunch of calls or sending out a bunch of texts for one day or two won't get you to ambassador. Making two to five calls or sending out two to five inviting texts a day for three to five days a week for the next 12 to 36 months, ladies and gentlemen, that's what's going to get you to ambassador. Now, I didn't say being here for 12 to 30 minutes for 30, 12 to 36 months is going to get you to ambassador. You got to put in the work. It's not about the single event. It's not about the intensity. It's about consistency. Write that word consistency in the chat. I want you to get it because that's the big point I'm trying to get you here. You sow and then you reap. Sometimes you sow and you don't see the reaping, but the law says that if you continue to sow, you will eventually to reap. And what has to happen for that? You have to be consistent. My name is Consistency. I'm related to success. If we hang out more often, I'm going to introduce you to results. So pretty amazing, guys. Now, let me hit this point one more time. Now, it could be the most important thing that I've ever say that said in any of our training. Consistency is the cornerstone of success when striving to become an ambassador. Let me repeat that again. Consistency is the cornerstone of success when striving to become an ambassador. We see so many people that out there that just try a few times and then they, you don't see those people anymore. That cannot be you if you want to have success. It's easy to become discouraged. It's easy because uh, you don't get those immediate results. They don't materialize in the first month or two or three. So people just kind of you know lose faith. True success emerges when you commit and be consistent and have a structured approach. Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, Oprah, and other successful people and other individuals out there, they understand this principle. Most people don't, but they understand it. Here it is. Consistency isn't about one intense burst of activity. It's about a steady application of effort over time. For those of you taking notes, that is it. A burst of effort over time. Not today, not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, but over time. It may not reveal its rewards on a specific day, but with steady commitment and consistency, ladies and gentlemen, it will ultimately introduce you to the ambassador lifestyle. This is the advice that Marie and I have that will keep you going um, to become an ambassador in the next two to five years. It's simple. It's easy to do. You just got to take ownership. You just got to be consistent. You just got to want to succeed. You just got to be willing to put in the work. It's not working in Las Vegas and being outside at 125 degrees and, and you're shoveling concrete and doing all of that other stuff. It's not rocket science. You don't have to get educated. You just have to learn how to share products, share opportunity, build for events, and self-improve. No matter what training you get, Everything boils down to, are you sharing the product? Yes or no. Are you sharing the opportunity? Yes or no. Are you building for events like this Saturday event here, like the Monday corporate call training event, like the 30-day uh, challenge event? Okay. Are you plugging people into the Miami event? We've got so many more people that are committed uh, going to that Miami event. It's going to change people's life. And some of you that didn't go last time, your life is going to change and you don't even understand how it's going to happen. But being at that location, hanging out with all of us, seeing the advantages, getting the training up close and personal is going to change your life. And I'm excited. But Todd, that video motivated us to put that information together. And uh, hopefully that will encourage somebody. And if you, have, uh, if you have a choice to change and you want to be consistent, if you do those simple things, you're going to figure this out. You're going to become great. And you're going to realize, how did that happen? Well, because you're consistent. Boy, unbelievable training. Love the consistency because that is the key to everything, right? I mean, it's just, you see people that do it for a short period of time, then they stop. And it's like that person that's out there on the farm and we have a family farm. I'm up in Northern Iowa. And it's got one of those old fashioned, you got to pump and pump and pump and pump to bring the water up, right? You got to, you're pumping, you're pumping, you're pumping because the water's way down, down deep. And you got to pump long enough. And if you pump long enough, the water starts to flow. But too many people in our business, they pump a couple of times and they, leave and they come back and they pump a couple times and then they walk away and then it's like no you got to pump 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 consistently 
long enough for the result to happen. The same would be true with microwave popcorn. If you put a microwave popcorn in there, right? You open yeah. the microwave and you stop the, the, the timer. If you're going to cook it three minutes or five minutes, right? You keep stopping the timer and, okay, and you come back a minute later and you, you hit it for another 20 seconds. And then you'll be okay. You stop for a minute. You come, I mean, it's not going to turn out, guys. Mm -hmm. Part of this deal is you have to have faith, right? Have faith that if I continue to do the things that I'm supposed to do, I am going to get the results, no matter how negative the results may seem at the beginning. And that's why like our CEO and founder is very transparent about who he is. When he started in this industry, he was in this industry three years and never signed up one person. He never signed up one person in three years. Wow. I mean, guys, most of you are off to a faster start than he was, right? But even if it took you three years to get one person, he now owns a, a, a you know, multinational, I mean, we're in 64 you know, countries, um, you know, network marketing company that's exploding in growth, right? That's what you call growth. That's what you call going through the process. We all begin somewhere. You know, Daryl didn't show you the video that when Aaron couldn't even swing the bat, right? You know, his feet were all goofy and his hands were goofy and the swing. I mean, I mean, we all started at the same place. We all started not knowing how to walk, right? We first, we were just trying to crawl, right? And that was a big thing. And then we try to learn how to stand up, right? And then we kind of fall down. Everybody starts in the same place. And then eventually, if you just keep doing the right things, you're going to get the result. But you have to do it consistently. As Gerald mentioned, you have to do it for long enough. By the way, when you talked about that video, I heard the person do a training. And it's an older training that I heard. These stats used to be shared all the time. They originally came from the Social Security Administration. Uh, but it was out of every 100 people uh, who have been working for 40 years, right? So for 100 people who have been working 40 years, uh, five are still working, 36 are dead. 54 uh, are dead broke, four are well off, and one's wealthy. And so that video you showed a moment ago about the person who spends their entire life working, you know, putting off their dreams, putting off the things they want to do, going to a place they don't even necessarily like, right? You know, working for a paycheck that's, you know, I'm not driving the car I want to drive. I'm not living in the dream home I want to, you know, I want to live in. Uh, I'm not taking the vacations I dreamed of taking. I don't have the bank account that I would like to have, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm doing all of that. And I have a stat in my slideshow that shows that this just came out uh, 35 days ago, guys, or 60 days ago. It came from Yahoo Finance <clears throat> that the average Social Security check in the United States is 1800 bucks. You've sold out an entire lifetimes of work of you know, doing the same thing over and over and over again, driving to the same place over and over again for an $1,800 Social Security check. I mean, Daryl Maria went two-star director in our company in two weeks. That's two grand a month. They were making more per month residually in two weeks than some people after 40 years of working at a job I don't like. Now, not everyone's going to do it as quickly as they are. They did. You know, some of you might take you two months, right? Or some of you might take you two quarters. What if it took you two years? I mean, two years is faster than 40 years, right? And guys, we have an incredible company. In fact, I was talking to David Hart just yesterday. And some people in our company, by the way, are not very consistent. We're not going to call out any names, but there's some people not very consistent about taking their money. So their money's in the back office, right? We go back on Thursday. We say, hey, send that money over to my pay quicker card. Friday's payday. Well, there's some people in the company across all the world, right? That they just, they forgot about it. They don't do it. The money's been building up in there, which means that Dave Hart has their money in his bank account. Now, how many CEOs are going to say, wait a minute, I want that money out of my bank account and in your bank account. So literally yesterday alone, the company sent out over $100,000 worth of just accumulated people who have not claimed their money, right? That wasn't the payroll. That was much bigger. This is just the people who had not claimed their money. Over a hundred some odd thousand dollars that Dave Hart forced into their commission account. Like, hey, I don't want this in my account. I want this in your account. Well, that tells you a lot about the CEO and founder. It tells you a lot about who he is what he's trying to accomplish. It also tells you a lot that, hey, this is clearly a company that's got plenty of money, right? Because if they, they didn't have plenty of money, trust me, he wouldn't be forcing yeah, yeah. $100,000 out of the bank account, right? So yeah. guys, we have an amazing company. We sit at this incredible moment in time where almost no one's ever heard of us. Again, I say it all the time. Go to, the, go to your local mall. Go to the local football stadium. And you can do this in any country in the world and, and take $5,000 in a, in, a, in a bullhorn, right? And say, I'll give you five grand right now. If you can tell me what your volume is like, who? <laughs> They've never heard of it. 
And yet you can see the company growing, growing, growing. You can see that we're doing things in travel that have never been done before. In fact, I had a great picture, Joe. Uh, you're going to love this one. This came from uh, uh, Robert McGee's brand new uh, person. Uh, so shout out to Pas uh, Pastor Avery. Uh, we were together. Um, I talked to him, I think, three days before I left for the T Dallas Cowboys football game, right? And so give me one second here. I'm going to pull this up. So Pastor... So we're on the phone and he's asking, hey, can you really save me money? And he was getting ready to go to Washington, D.C. for his um, um, anniversary. And so I went and pulled up, you know, our back office, right? Here's all the places we have in Washington, D.C. I did a comparison to what they were doing over there uh, at Expedia. And I sent it to him. He's like, oh, my gosh, you're gonna see, <laughs> I'm going to pay for my entire membership with just one trip. He got all excited, right? Of course, he got signed up. Well, um, you know, fast forward that tape. Um, I told him I was leaving the next day for the Dallas Cowboy game. He goes, I'm going to be at the Dallas Cowboy game. And sure enough, he came over and found me at, at inside the Dallas Cowboy Stadium. And I'm looking for the picture here. I'm just having to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Anyway, I'm going to find it here in a moment. He came over and found me. And we actually took a picture together, right? Here we go. Here we go. That's him and I at the Dallas Cowboy game. Unbelievable. Now, we'd only met via telephone three days before. And that smile on his face, and the reason he came over and found me, because that's how much money we just saved him, right? <laughs> hey, guys, you've got the proof on your side. It's not like we're, we're not selling vitamins here. Well, I know I can't make any medical claims about it, right? I know that it's expensive. I know that, you know, it doesn't taste good. <laughs> but let me tell you what it's done for me. I mean, we're not, guys, you can, hey, open up Expedia, all up on our site, <laughs> where you want to go, <laughs> right? You want to go to we Vegas, win. you want to go to Miami Beach, you want to go to Barcelona, Paris, Tokyo, Boston. London, uh, Los Angeles, Chicago, New York. We have the proof, black and white. We are showing people how they can book for significantly less. By the way, show three other people how they can save huge money on travel. And guess what? Your membership is now no longer coming off your credit card. You're getting all those travel points at no ongoing cost to you. Take Maybe. those points, turn it in for the kind of vacations we talk about all the time. If that's all this was, pretend it stopped right there. If that's all this was, we could still get millions of people who would want to participate, but the fact that we're also taking it one step further, and we're showing people how they can get involved with our company, people today are looking for the side hustle. The gig economy is one of the fastest growing segments of the entire global economy. That's why people are doing Uber, they're doing Lyft, they're doing YouTube videos and podcast videos, they're doing Amazon, they're doing eBay, they're doing Instacart, they're doing DoorDash. They are looking for a way to make money. And none of those things even comes remotely close to what we're doing. Guys, you are in the right place at the right time, but you may not know that. It's never been easier to build than in the history of the world to build a global business. My wife, Jean and I, we barely speak one language, English. We only knew one person outside the United States. The company just opened up Mongolia, like literally yesterday, right? And we have a team there in Mongolia. And if you don't tell, I don't speak Mongolian. And so, I mean, it just continues to spread because we're showing people something amazing. We're bringing value to their life with the product. We're bringing value to their life with the opportunity. Now, I saw that we have a special guest that hopped on here, the number one income earner in the country of Canada, the number one income earner in the country of Mexico, uh, Thailand, the Maldives, uh, Bali, uh, France. Uh, this guy, he's gone so much. He's practically a resident of all these different places I mentioned, right? And so everywhere, he, he likes to go to all these countries where he's the number one guy. He's unbelievable, <laughs> Mr. Danny Segwinall. Hey, welcome, buddy. What's going on, guys? What's going on? Hey, just want to let you know two things. I'm always here. If you don't see me, I'm always here. I don't miss training. This is this is golden. This, these nuggets, the things that you guys are sharing, uh, people are paying thousands and thousands of dollars on courses and all kinds of stuff. And they get it for free. So uh, first thing I want to say is thank you uh, for taking the time to actually do these trainings every single Saturday. People don't understand that there's people on YouTube right now typing how to make money. I, uh, you know, I want to be successful. And we're giving it all for free right here, right? Like, we just need to redirect them right here, you know? Uh, yeah. Second thing, well, Todd, the, the, I don't know why you didn't get my voice, but I want to say happy birthday. 
That's what I said on the message. Oh. I was saying, I was saying, happy birthday. I don't know where you are. You probably got no Wi-Fi on your birthday. You disconnect. <laughs> right? I was on the so, plane. <laughs> I on the plane. All right. I want to say a, a happy birthday to you. And uh, yeah, that you know what, guys? I was listening, and it's funny that there what you shared today because I literally just put two videos. I think it was CNN or I don't know about um, you know the economy, about people not having enough money when they retire. And all that stuff. And I was just listening. I was like, man, like things are rough. Like salaries are not going up at all, but everything else is going up. And we have something very, 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 very powerful that you could actually say, okay, if I make an extra two, like, you know, they say, like, if you put $150 a month away or whatever, we have the solution, right? We have literally, you, you, you join us, you get eight platinums. You probably got a partner you're working with. He gets eight and you're already at three, $400 a month that you could put towards the retirement. Like you're eight people away, wow. 16 people away, right? That, that's just insane that people are looking at this like, oh, this is too hard. I don't want to do this. I mean, it pays. It's been paying. It's going to continue to pay. And consistency uh, it, it is the key. So I'm looking, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed that I get to wake up at this time, by the way. It's like 12 o'clock, <laughs> right? But I go to bed at six o'clock. I was doing lives. I went to the gym. I went, Actually, I went to see one of my partners I think it was 9 p.m. I left her house at 2 a.m. because we were working and playing some stuff, challenge, you know, all that good stuff. And then she goes, what are you doing? I said, I'm going to go to the gym because I got to be in shape. I want to be healthy. So I still got to get that done. And then when I got there, I grabbed my phone. I said, you know what? Let me, ha- let me talk to my team, right? So I did a live in the gym for like an hour and a half, <laughs> right? And people were like, Danny, when do you sleep? I said, I, I got the MNS disease. Money never sleep. <laughs> I got the MNS disease, right? Money never sleep. So I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. But one more thing I want to, I want to, I want to share real quick is um, I was I started saying that in my presentation lately, and uh, I started saying, you know what? I'm not selling you anything, guys. We're not selling anything. Everyone out there is already a member. Okay, everyone's already a member. They're just paying too much money at the wrong place. Everybody's already a member of travel. There's nobody out there literally saying, oh, oh, this travel, like walking around like this with sticks, right? Everybody's already a member, but they're paying Expedia. So we just want them to shift, right? Your membership over there that you're overpaying when you're paying a uh, 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 paper go. Can we say that paper, paper click, right? It's like when you travel, you pay when you're traveling. Well, with us, you get a membership and you travel whenever you want and you have to save money. So that's all we're doing. We're just shifting people from, they're already paying. We yeah. just want them to come over here and save money and they can make money. Like tell you what you just said. If people just knew, like, when you think about the airport and you think about travel um, and we, we don't even talk about the money side, right? What we have is unbelievable. Just the travel side, right? I think sometimes people get scared because they talk to prospects, they talk to someone and then that person it has a hard time mentally to focus on what you're sharing with them. Because we get there, we're like, hey, you want to go to Puerto Vallada for $29? And they go, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to go to uh, 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 Venice for a dollar? They got travel. Oh, <laughs> they got travel in their mind. Right? And then we shift and we're like, hey, you want me some money? Their mind is like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, like they get all confused. So I say, ask questions, right? What's more important for them right now? Because if you don't know, right, you're going to be talking about two different things and their mind is like, it's getting lost, confused. And that's why they get back to you and say, oh, you know, that's a lot of information. You talk about travel, saving money. You talk about making money. Um, like I don't know how to position myself. So ask questions, right? Ask questions. Say, hey, what's more important to you right now? Is it your next big trip where you can save thousands of dollars or is paying off your car bill, paying your, uh, you know, paying your credit cards? What's more important to you right now? And they will tell you, it's a simple question. Yeah. What's more important to you? Do you see yourself be on the beach next week? Or do you see have a thousand dollars in your bank account? What's more important? And they're going to say, you know what? It's uh, putting a thousand dollars in bank account. Then focus on the money, <laughs> right? Even though you're excited, even you're like, oh, I'll try a lot. Shh. Focus on the money. Your prospect wants to hear something. He told you or she told you, I need the, I need more money, right? So focus on that because you're excited. You're like, oh, my God, I just came back from Hawaii. Uh, I just signed a new partner. So you got both things going on in your mind, but you're already in. 
The person that's not in is trying to figure out where he or she is going to fit in. And you're going to get them all confused because we're so amazing, right? We're so amazing. You're like, hey, guy, you want to make some money, you want to travel? We got this challenge going on. We have this going on. And they're like, um, yeah, sounds great. Um, listen, uh, I think I need to sit down to <laughs> absorb everything you just said, right? So ask questions. And one last thing, uh, I think that Daryl, um, I want to share that with you too, because I was telling that to David. I, I changed a little bit my way um, of closing. Uh, so when someone puts me, like I had a, I had a, one of my partners say, oh, Danny, I'm someone that saw a live, right? A presentation and they had more questions. Can we do a Zoom together? So I said, yeah, no problem, let's do a Zoom. So then we do the Zoom and then, I know he saw like us live, you know, just talking about money, but he didn't see a presentation. So I said, let me do a presentation for you personally. So I, I did it like in 10 minutes, real quick. I did a presentation. And at the end of the presentation, I'm like, okay, so how do you feel? I didn't say, what did you like? Because they like everything anyways. So I go, how did you feel? How do you feel right now? He's like, I feel good. Nah, you know, I think it's time to pull. But usually what I used to do is I used to say, okay, listen, you saw everything. I explained. I answered all your questions. Now my partner, okay, my partner now is going to do the rest with you. I'm going to go have a good night. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Right? But then I noticed that every time I do that, I don't necessarily see that sign up. But I feel like I did the work. Like it's done. Like this person should just sign up. And I didn't see that kind of, you know, I said, nah, I need to fix all this. I need to fix that. <laughs> I'm, I'm honest with you guys, but I'm giving you real life situation. So when I'm like, okay, you know what I'm going to do? So what I had him on the Zoom, I said, listen, um, okay, so you feel good. You like everything you saw. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to sign up. So I open Travoyan page and I start filling out all the squares that we have, right? I put a name. I went through the process with him so you could see what he's going to see when he's going to sign up. And then when I got to the payment page, I said, once you get there and you're, and you're going to pay, you're going to get an ID number. Once you get that ID number, okay, uh, that's when I'm going to send you the training and all that good stuff. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some water. My partner's going to stay with you on the Zoom while you do your registration. I'm going to get some water. I'll be right back, and you should be done by then. Is that cool with you? And he's like, yeah, yeah. Listen, um, grab my credit card right now. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. And then I went. But I, I, So what I did is I put my mute. I, put, I muted my Zoom and my camera, and I, was, I, was, I didn't even go get water. I was, just, I was just right there. But I pretend I wasn't there, right? And I could hear him saying, oh, what did I put for the social ID thing? And then my partner goes, oh, no, that's for Americans. Yeah, we don't do that stuff. We, don't, we skip that. <laughs> and he's going through the steps. And then he goes, oh, I got my email. My ID is 555426. And then I heard it because I was on my phone working. And I'm like, congratulations. Welcome to the team. Okay, I just sent you a link with all the training. I sent you uh, leader, leaders in training. I sent you this. I sent you that. And uh, now we're going to talk about how we're going to launch your business. So uh, when, so this is what you're going to do. Boom, 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 boom. And all of that right on the spot. Right on the spot. I said, I'm not leaving no chance no more. Not leaving no chance. Because if, Cause you, you see what I'm saying, Daryl? Because if we say go back to the person, they, they, you don't know what they're going to do. They might be like, oh, so you, you like the presentation? Yeah, I'm going to sign again. Yeah, it's great, huh? Okay, well, you know, like, I guess you'll go talk to your wife and, you know, you're going to talk to your kids and uh, let, let me know when you're ready. And no, uh, 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 no, 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 no. If we let them go out there and talk to the neighbor, <laughs> if we let them do that, it's game over. It's, game, it's a wrap. Because someone's going to say, well, what, you just came back from a trip. Why are you joining a travel club? Oh, you're right. Maybe I should wait. Then, then, then they have all that crazy stuff that goes into the head. No. You're staying right here. You book, you sign up right now. Okay. And then you could go. <laughs> so, so quick recap for you guys. Okay. When someone says they're interested and they're watching information, okay, they're already being cooked. They're already in the sauce, in the pan. Why, why are you in time to go home? The meal is right now, right? The meal is right now. So that, that's what I want to share with you guys. So he signed up. Okay. He took titanium membership. Uh, he's already going to do a, a, a live with his TikTok. He has 7,000 followers. 
all people that are into like business and all that stuff, self-development. So I'm like, okay, well, every day you're going to drip on them, drip, 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 drip for a whole week. Next Saturday, we do a live together. And then on Sunday, everybody that saw the live, we're going to do a Zoom with them. And then it's a wrap. That's it. We're going to get you three or more. You got 7,000 followers. Let's, let's just get it done, right? Let's just get it done. Wow. Hey, well, my recommendation, guys, is get on Facebook, get to this segment again so you can write it out. Danny, we're going to get you some slides so that when you talk, people can actually see it. But that makes so much sense. Just a couple of things. Can't comment on all of it. But just when you talked about, you know, Danny or Todd talked about first about $1,800 is the average for Social Security, right? Well, three to $500 a month investing that just at a one star. And if you put that on over five years, 10 years, 15, 20 years, guys, that alone would make so much of a, a major uh, difference in people's life. And then a couple of weeks back, I think it was you mentioned something about, we always talk about you're in $4 and 10 cents a day, or the 125 comes out to $4 and 10 cents a day, right? So you got to ask yourself, is $4 and 10 cents a day worth it for you and your family to get access to all the things that we're talking about, the tax advantage, being able to grow and build and develop a business, being able to travel like never before. There's a lot of different things people are working on right now to even make it clear. Thank you so much for um, for coming on and sharing that. Uh, guys, just at the top of the hour, Todd had an appointment, so he had to take off. Um, we appreciate uh, each and every one of you guys for coming on today. There's a huge schedule starting at 12 o'clock Pacific time, five o'clock Pacific time, and then eight o'clock tonight. Those, these are the 30-day uh, uh, challenge presentation. Get your guests, plug in, apply Danny's strategy on there. Get that other partner to work with you on that. And guys, let's go ahead and grow this. We got 12 days to finish this challenge with power. And if you are serious about success, guys, muster up the energy, be consistent. If you do that, your life is going to change. Again, don't look at where you're at today. Think about where it's going to be when you're two years from now, when you're three years from now, you know, four years from now. And you look back and you say, man, I'm glad I put in the work. I'm glad I put in the effort. I'm glad I took the time. Even when I was getting beat up and people were saying no, and I wasn't having the success. Guys, that's what all of us go through. And if you understand that, you all will be an ambassadors. You all can get this in the watch that the company gives out. You can take the most incredible vacations every single year. That, By the way, that's the worst thing that will happen to you. And your life can change. Let's go out and help somebody else. Marie has a quick Dr. comment. Renee, no, just At 12 o'clock is going to be Dr. Renee. You don't want to miss her. She has a great... Uh, presentation that she does at five o'clock. We're going to have today team scales. team scales. If you haven't seen team scales this morning, you want to see them today. That should have 100, 200 people on there. Guys, get your guests on there. They brought it and uh, they do it in a way that makes people pumped up and excited. And then at eight o'clock, Renee. We got Dr. Renee again. Dr. Renee is working today. So again, we appreciate you guys. God bless you guys so much. We appreciate it. Whatever we can do to help, um, consider it done. We're here to help you guys. Let's make it happen. God bless. See you guys later. Bye for now.